My name is Jan Pedersen. I'm director of technology at NCIB Group. Now I'm going to talk about ultra HDI PCBs. Okay, so we're talking about a PCB with tracks and gaps, lines and spaces below 50 mic micron. We're talking about things that in the near future will probably go down below 10 microns. So how do we do that? And how will that affect how we produce the PCB, how we design the PCB, and how we're going to assemble it? What we see here is what we call a homogeneous integration between a chip, a substrate, and a PCB. In the Ultra HDI PCB, we are talking about the PCB level here. We're not talking about the substrate level, or the chip, or the integration between all of this. What we want to do is, or what is going to happen, is that this PCB will be able to have the chip directly assembled on the PCB. To do that, we need a miniaturization of the P PCB. To explain what we want to achieve here, I'd like to go to another picture. Here we see how the miniaturization level is going. We say today that we have reached a, a BGA pitch, that is the distance between two uh, BGA balls. And we see that <clears throat> today we can reach a, a level of 350 micron between those balls. That means we need uh, a much smaller tracking gap. We have much smaller pads. We see that we have a pad level here of 150 mic micron. That means also that if we go up to this level, we see that we are going from a standard or traditional PCB technology into what we call MSAP or substrate-like PCBs. To explain this a little bit further, let's go to see how the IPC levels describes this. What we see here is what we call producibility level C in the standard called IPC 2226 HDI. Producibility level C is the most complex or the most advanced level we have today. It's going down to 50 micron uh, tracking gap. Now, we are looking at further down from 50 to 20 micron uh, tracking gap, basically. If you want to go further down, we go down from substrate-like PCBs into new technologies, uh, even exceeding what we call uh, semi-additive uh, processing. This level is quite advanced. Now we're talking about PCBs that has a tracking gap down to 15 micron. And these levels here are needed for what we have here, the 350 micron pitch between the BGA pads. If you're going further down, again, we need these levels. Until now, this level has been used by Apple and similar companies for a couple of decades, actually. But we see today that uh, with uh, 5G and similar things, there is a need of designs going in this direction. They need the components, they need the increased um, functionality, and this is what we need to meet the next year. So what's in it for the customer? Okay, you can have much better functionality within the same area, or you can have a miniaturization and get actually even a better functionality. It's smaller, lighter, and above all, it's sustainable. If you have a need of a design below 50 micron tracking gap, Ultra HDI is the solution, and we are here for you.